After decades on the run, a couple wanted for a murder in western Kansas is in police custody tonight. Last week, Roger and Kelly Jones were arrested in Georgia, of all places. New at 10, Cakes Madeline Anderson here with why it took so long to track down the suspects. Madeline? The Jones are accused of murdering 25 year old Patrick Howe in 1992 in Dodge City. Authorities say it took more than 20 years to track them down because they were using fake IDs. Chasing leads for decades. The Ford County Sheriff's Office says it wasn't until a tip in early 2015 that brought investigators face to face with fugitives Roger and Kelly Jones. Lead investigator George Brown says he found them this past Thursday, a thousand miles from Kansas, at a campground in Monroe County, Georgia. It feels good. Myself and retired Sheriff Arlen Lemming, he was actually the lead investigator on it in 1992. We went down there and so, you know, it kind of brought this case to a close. A search of a camper discovered evidence of multiple identities and social security numbers used during their years evading police. Brown says they were even using fake names when Patrick Howe was murdered. In 1992, Howe's body was found in a ditch west of Dodge City. In 1996, warrants were issued for the Jones in connection to the crime. Patrick worked or was around that family. He was actually going to go down to Texas to visit his family. Before he could leave Dodge is when uh, the homicide occurred. Brown says this story highlights just how important tips from the public are in helping solve cold cases. And it doesn't matter whether it's in our jurisdiction or uh, other jurisdictions. It's always nice to be able to bring people to justice. And the Jones are currently in custody in Georgia. They will be brought back to Tex or to Kansas within the next week or so where they'll go through the Ford County court system. The sheriff's office plans to also release more details then about the murder.